Hi guys, it's me again, Big B, um, with another video that I promised from yesterday. If I was going to get rid of my iPhone 3GS, I was going to go to this Samsung Galaxy S. And I'll tell you what, guys, it's a hell of a phone. To me, it does blow the iPhone away, and I would even say it blows the iPhone 4 away. Um, I'm majorly impressed with this. Majorly impressed. The you can't see it on here unfortunately but the screen quality on this thing is phenomenal and um, the super AMOLED screen is fantastic it's crystal clear and I have used an iPhone 4 I owned one for a short time so I know what I'm talking about with the two phones and the screen on this is just as good as the retina screen the resolution on this is it's crystal clear uh, the, the, the colours are fantastic, black is true black, the colour throughout the whole phone is fantastic and I would say I prefer that screen to the retina screen and that's not me being anti Apple or Apple fanboy or anything, like I say I'm not biased, I've had loads of different phones and it's fantastic guys within two minutes of having it I had it rooted and the root in this thing was a, a breeze uh, I just downloaded a, an update.zip that you put on the internal SD card and reboot into recovery mode, flash via update.zip, like that. It was done in seconds. The phone rebooted, I was rooted. And I did the lag fix, um, which is again is another update zip. T took two minutes, installed it, rebooted the phone. You've got to run a little program that it installs. Five minutes later, you just leave it to do what it does, and it's done. Now I benchmarked it before I did the lag fix and on the Quadrant benchmarker I got a reasonable uh, about 800 it was just past halfway on the list of phones it was alright after the lag fix it was off the scale it was over 2000 score it was right at the very top and you know it was this far a, a way and above beyond anything else it was fantastic um, and I ran another benchmarker and you, it was pushing like 55.9 frames a second and I put a couple of games on, Asphalt 5 um, being one of them silky smooth, absolutely silky smooth, there's no frame rate drop, nothing I mean this thing can pump some graphics out um, I've had no major problems with it um, setting up was, was quite easy once I figured out how to link Facebook contacts and things um, the Samsung Galaxy UI that they've put on and um, the touch flow isn't obviously as sort of like slick as HTC's desire, uh, desire UI, the Sense UI, but it doesn't matter. It, it does what it does. It's got some really nice features um, that you would normally have to download from the market. Um, the app installer, so you can install apps from SD card. On other phones, you had to download Astro. Um, file manager with this it's got one built in and it's also got a, its own task killer built in right on the front screen it tells you how many tasks is run you click it you can end whatever you want you can end all you can even install and uninstall programs from there as well they've got it all covered um, nice screen operation like I say guys spot on and the camera on this thing wow that's all I'm going to say I know it hasn't got a flash and the iPhone 4 does but again I've used both and the 720p video on this is unbelievable even when I put it onto my computer I did it with the iPhone 4 I took some high definition video put it on the computer blew it up full screen and you got a little bit of pixelization you know I think it wasn't perfect but this to me and again I'm not being biased anywhere I, you know I'm neither Android nor Apple I like me Apple I like me Android but fact is I've used both I've had both and the camera on this the 720p video recording I don't care what any fanboys say Apple fanboys well no it won't I've used both and I tell I'm telling you now a lot of Apple fanboys won't have used one of these they're just going off like oh it can't be better than Apple it is the video on this is phenomenal I took a bit of video just random around my room and I played it back on the phone and it was perfect it didn't have any jumpy any nothing it was perfect and I put it onto the computer blew it up full screen which for me is like full 1080p and I blew it up 
to full screen and it was still crystal clear it was perfect and that was just pointing out the window and doing a quick random bit of, bit of chucking about um, and it was great if I can I might do take a bit of video with it and put it at the end of this video to show you but uh, unfortunately camera's not brilliant on here so I cannot show, really show you the screen but take it from me guys it's fantastic um, other things to note the swipe texting is pretty damn fast uh, it takes a bit of getting used to normally because you're used to taking your finger off the button but with this you can just swipe 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 and it, it's really good and fast it's really clever um, very iPhone-esque I must admit looking at it from the front it looks a bit like an iPhone and even the um, menu screen or the option screen is very I don't know what you can see that it's very iPhone-esque it's got the little square icons and things it's it's yeah some people have said it's copying it a little bit off the iPhone which I suppose it is but um, it does what the iPhone should have done you can make phone calls there's no signal drop with this I get full signal no matter which where I hold it or where I hold it I've had full, 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 full signal it's never been an issue and of course you got that front facing camera which I haven't tried yet but I have no doubt it'll just be as good as the iPhone 4's and um, it is a lot lighter than the iPhone and the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4 um, but that's kind of a nice thing you know it still feels nice in the hand and that screen I've had the phone most of the day and I'm still can't get over that screen it's just like you keep looking at it thinking wow you know like that is a really nice screen and like, like I said the color saturation is fantastic so if you've been thinking about getting another phone or getting an Android phone get the Galaxy S like I said it, it may have little faults here and there that I might come across all phones do there's no perfect phone that I've come across but the GPU on this thing for gaming is just wow especially if you do the lag fix uh, update which does help a lot but even without that it still blows all of the phones out of the water as far as gaming um, the GPU on this it, it I would say like for benchmarking I've looked at and if you go on Google and check for like polygons per second it's four times faster than anything out there of the amount of polygons this thing can chuck about and the actual processors no slouch either I mean the processor it's a one gigahertz um, Samsung um, chip in it and it, it, it's really really fast I have come across a little bit of like when I'm flicking from certain things I've got some serious widgets open I've got one that's got all my um, contacts in great big pictures that you can flip through which is kind of cool and you can get all the Facebook apps and so is it sinking a little bit but that's not the phone's fault that's just probably because it's trying to pull data in from the internet but it's not actually a problem I actually had uh, a bit of lag on the iPhone 3GS and whether the fanboys like it or not I had quite a bit on the iPhone 4 quite a lot actually um, so right guys I'm going to leave it there I will try and put another piece of video at the end if I can with some video taken on the phone just to show you um, but listen guys fantastic screen jaw dropping camera brilliant sound sounds fantastic on it feels nice it people said it looked a bit cheap and nasty and tacky it felt a bit thing but it doesn't it, it it's okay it's fine um, plenty of memory on the thing you can put SD cards in it so that's not a problem it's going to get Froyo update in September which will make it even better as far as I'm concerned I'm really looking forward to that um, so you've got everything there that you need everything there for a good phone um, so guys don't hesitate if you've been thinking about HTC Desire or other Android phones or even an iPhone 3GS or even an iPhone 4 for the price this thing is compared to an iPhone 4 I would definitely take a look at one of these go and try one in a shop have a look um, now I know I haven't reviewed the phone a lot like in major specs and going into detail like some others do but I'm just giving you my honest opinion of using different phones if you want to know more about what the phone can do and other features get onto Google check some other YouTube videos out but definitely guys check them out and um, I can highly recommend it so I'm going to stop this here because it's coming up to 10 minutes so any comments just leave them down there if you want to know about the uh, root and the lag fix update um, dot zip um, I can certainly help you out with that um, dead easy to do work straight away so thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll catch you next time